For this video, we're going to cover a few different shortcuts, uh, keyboard commands and mouse commands that it's all you really need to know how to maneuver around the program efficiently. And to start off, I'm just going to uh, place a vessel by clicking on the vessel object, clicking anywhere, just so we can uh, I can show you different types of view commands. So starting off, if we press, if we go over here and click on the vessel and we, we hit F3 on our keyboard, it'll locate the object. And you notice that when the, the object itself flashes. So if we want to hide or unhide an object, we can just select in the model browser the object, which is the vessel one here, control H will hide it and control H again will bring it back and the basic window commands such as copying pasting and saving are all standard uh, to if we to move around to pan you press shift and then click on your mouse your left left click on the mouse and you can pan around the view and to bring us back to our default view, we just press Control T. And if we want to reset a new view, first let's rotate the model by pressing Control, then left click, and drag the mouse, which will rotate our view. So if we want this to be our new view, we can do Control Shift. and T. Now if we were to go back to the, now let's go to the elevation view which is control E. Now let's go back to the default view by control T. And this will be our new saved default view. So going back to the plan view, control E, or the elevation, excuse me, let's go to the plan view which will just be an overhead shot of our model. Control P will bring us there. And it's all relative to the default view that we set up previously. So let's go back to elevation. And if we want to zoom, you can use the mouse wheel, hold control and scroll on the mouse wheel. If you scroll towards you, it scrolls out, scroll into the away from you, it'll scroll in. My mouse is a little sensitive right now, but if you, another way to zoom is to press and hold the Alt key and left click and you can zoom via a box window which will take us in where we selected. And for to say if we wanted to reset this view back to what the default was for Orcaflex when we first opened this uh, new file. We can go to the View menu, and Edit View Parameters, and the only thing I'm going to change is the azimuth degree or uh, direction, just so I believe it's 70. Yep, 270 would be the default. So now we're We're not off at an angle now, so I'm just going to reset this with Control Shift T for my default view so we don't lose it. So scroll out, Control T again will bring us back. So another important command is to rotate by 90 degrees. We do that by, this will be in the positive direction. So Control Q will rotate 90 degrees. So if we wanted to go the other way, we can hold Control Shift Q, which will go the opposite direction. Control T to go back. And say if we wanted to show the entire model, I just shift left click to pan out, pan in a direction where the vessel is not shown. If I press Control Alt T, we'll show the entire model. Finally, one last command that it's helpful to know is control G which will go back and forth between the wireframe mode which is what we see here in our graphics window 
and the picture view. So we hit Control G, and this is the picture view, which is really great for presentations and reports for your clients. So go back to the default model. The last command I want to show you I think is the most important and it is the shortcut to get to the help menu and to do that we press F1 and this depending on where you are in the program it'll bring up different windows so since I'm just in the regular model view it brings up a help menu based on the 3D view so to show you how useful and powerful this tool is if I were to just double click on the vessel and anywhere I click say on the position I hit F1 again it will bring up the specific help uh, help menu for that item so uh, we can see all the different descriptions on how to uh, calculate certain things, the orientations, and what each uh, variable represents for that vessel data. And to show you again, say, if we wanted to go in environment and we're on the, the wave height, hit F1 again, and this will bring up the environment help menu, which lists all the different types of data we can set for the environment. So these, these are just basic commands that will help you move around the program uh, while you're modeling your, uh, your certain problem that you're working on. And if you want to find out uh, more helpful commands uh, as you need them, but in my opinion this is all you really need to know to get started. You can go to the help menu and click on keyboard shortcuts and this will pop up and this will bring a whole list, show a whole list of the keyboard commands and mouse commands that you can use to control the model. So that'll wrap up this tutorial on different types of shortcuts and keyboard commands in Oracleplex.